So today I'm talking about my haunted attractions. As you know, I do this each year. I usually pick two haunted attractions that I've been to and then discuss them. So for this video, I'm doing Terror Behind the Walls at Eastern State Penitentiary in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I have a lot of notes, so if I'm looking somewhere else, it's because I'm looking at my notes. Uh, the next video I'm going to upload probably within the hour is the Farm of Hara at Schaefer Farms in um, Flemington, New Jersey. So for Terror Behind the Walls, I was at this attraction 11 years ago. And when I was there 11 years ago, I absolutely hated it. I'm not sure if it's because it wasn't good or if, if I was with a, because I was went with my school group at the time, my college school group. Um, I didn't go with friends or anything like that. So maybe that's why I didn't like it then. I don't know. Either way, I didn't like it. So until now, I never wanted to come back. And so I gave another chance since a lot can change in 11 years. I'm actually really happy I gave it another chance. I went on a Sunday, probably waited about 30 minutes or so to get into the initial door. Our tickets were for, I think, 7 p.m.? No, or 7.30? I don't know, 7, 7.30. Um, but I know if you come on a Friday or Saturday, based on reviews I've read, um, you could have an 8.30 ticket and still be waiting there till 10.30. So definitely suggest to go on a Sunday or somewhere between Tuesday and Thursday uh, because it'll be less busy. So we went on a Sunday, waited about 30 minutes to get inside the initial door, which is not bad at all. Uh, I must mention that 11 years ago, they did not have that ghost bus that you went on. And if they did, I didn't use it. But they have it now. And it was a great addition because it makes parking super easy, super pickup. Not super easy pickup, super easy drop off. The place was really organized, which was great, and the staff was really friendly. Probably waited about five minutes to get in between um, each attraction, or get in each attraction, which was pretty good. Again, it's a Sunday. If you want it on Friday or Saturday, you're not going to get that. You'll probably be waiting quite some time in between each attraction. Did I think this place was scary? No. The setting is scary. To think about what it was back then is scary, but the attraction itself was not scary. It had some awesome props, uh, some awesome makeup. I like the fact that they put blood on you if you wanted it on you. Um, you can get the glow, the glow necklace to go in and get them to touch you and everything like that. I didn't get that, but I heard it was good. Um, the only and the actors also seemed like they were actually having a good time. Some of these haunted attractions you go to, they're like on their phone and they're like talking to their other friends or something like that. Uh, in this place, they actually remained in character. I found the only part of this attraction to me that was completely pointless, I believe, it was the infirmary. I don't know if there were supposed to be more people in there. There's only one person in there the entire long hallway, at least when I went. Um, but either they should get more people, or I would suggest not counting this as an attraction, because that was not an attraction. That was just a long, creepy hallway. <laughs> the other downside to me was the amount of people they put in at once. I understand why they do it on Friday and Saturday, or any other busy day. But on a Sunday with not that many people, I think you should be able to go in with your group, or maybe even another group, but definitely not 10 to 15 random people with your group. I think it's kind of ridiculous, but this is my opinion. After the whole thing, I did the speakeasy, which they definitely didn't have 11 years ago. And again, if they did, I didn't do it. It was an additional $10, quoted a drink, and you got to see different cells that were decked out in certain things. And it was a nice addition overall. I think it is 21 plus, but I don't see why since they have soda and nothing in there was inappropriate in any way. Um, they also had tons of gift shops, which all had really unique and different items and decently priced. And they had a great sales section if you're interested in that. So all in all, much better than it was, better than 11 years ago. Would I do it again? Yes. 
uh, but I would wait a few years. It's it's not an attraction that I would want to go back to every year. There's some attractions I love going back to every year. This is not one of them. I would not go back to this every year. But it was fun for what it was, and it was definitely better than it was. And overall, happy that I made the decision to check this place out again. And I would recommend it if you're in the area um, or from like surrounding areas. I would check it out. But that's my review for Tower Behind the Walls, and next up you'll get the review for a har uh, form of Horus, which you will see probably within the hour. So if you have any questions, just let me know, and have a good day. Bye!